Hi, this is day three at Paris Show 2017 and today we will focus on some of the new products in a video divided in two parts. The first part dedicated to the French industry and the second one dedicated to the international industry. So today, the, the topic, the main topic, the brand new things uh, about the company is the smart glider concept. It's an ergonomic weapon, a uh, light bomb with a significant range, more than 100 km, dedicated to the, the widest spectrum of targets uh, possible. The, uh, we came up with uh, some issues, we have made, made some studies, internal studies about previous conflicts uh, on a 20 years time scale in order to see what has been used and what should be the uh, most uh, uh, appropriate weapon uh, for the future, taking uh, into consideration the re return of experience of the past. The outputs were uh, conflicts has, have uh, shifted, the, the, are, the missions are different uh, from the past, but the uh, target scope remains. That means that uh, in each conflict you have to address the full scope of target, including a lot of uh, large variety of vehicles, infrastructure, small buildings, big buildings, and uh, GBAT system, radars, aircraft on the ground. All those targets can be either fixed or mobile or re relocatable. And uh, so to, to be able to cope with the, the widest scope of that target, we studied uh, what kind of warhead should be the most appropriate to uh, destroy or uh, uh, all those kind of, of targets. So um, we came up on, on a concept focusing on the warhead. So the ammunition is very small, but we focused on the way to optimize the effectiveness of the warhead and we came up on a formula about 80 kilograms able to uh, provide penetration capability, fragments for troops and uh, vehicles and military uh, equipments and sufficient blast to destroy uh, small infrastructure. With that kind of features of, of warhead you handle a large variety of, of targets. We came up also with the fact that Initially, 20 years ago, most of the uh, missions were performed uh, on a planned pattern. It was a mission planned before taking off, so you could fit the aircraft with the appropriate ammunition, perform your mission with the maximum effectiveness. Nowadays, 80% of the missions are, are performed in a concept that we call dynamic targeting, meaning that you don't know when you take off what kind of target you will have to uh, engage. That means that you need uh, generic warhead, generic ammunition, able to cope with the widest scope of target. The warhead is the most important criteria, as well as the guidance system to cope with a large uh, scope of environment, mobile target, fixed target, jamming consideration of GPS jamming, things like this, bad weather, good weather. So we adapted the, the guidance modes in order to cope with different environments. 
including the collateral damage issue. You know that in a urban context, you're very tight with the uh, environment. You cannot destroy everything. You have to identify, and sometimes they can be friendly around or neutral people around, so you are very limited in the effectiveness. And sometimes you cannot shoot because your weapon is too much powerful for the context. So we plan also to use uh, some features that uh, had been developed in MBDA, which is called the scalable effect, in order to tune the, the power of the warhead to adapt to the different environments. And the last feature is the range to be out range of a maximum of differences. You know, in Syria, the context has changed. You have a lot of uh, at, uh, ground to air systems that could deny the ability to come enough close to targets to launch your weapon. So you need long range in the class of more than 100 kilometers to be safe at the release point. Today in uh, Paris Air Show, we introduced uh, so for the first time our uh, laser guided bomb, which is called the BAT laser, BAT 120. Uh, the BAT, uh, you have in the past, uh, Thales and TDA is uh, the design authority of a product which is called BAT 120 or BAP 120. So it's in French, bomb anti piste or bomb d'appui tactique. So this product uh, previously was fired. Uh, in a, in a process, you can have 18 bombs under the wing, and uh, the, you drop the bomb, and the parachute ensures that the bomb will be vertical. And you have after a rocket motor, which is pushing the, the ammunition deeply inside the ground to destroy, uh, for example, track. Uh, this product was heavily used in the 1980s, but the operational scenario is uh, extremely low altitude. So in the 90s, this product was stopped and not used anymore. But the fire control system inside the plane and the safety and certification of such a weapon are still available. And it's why we have decided to use this certification to try to put a new product, so introduce technology inside a design already implemented in service. So the strategy we had in Thales, we have already uh, in, the, in, uh, in the, our portfolio our induction laser guided rocket, which is called Aculeus. So this uh, rocket embedded a semi-active laser, a control actuator system and inertial system. We have already a contract with the French Ministry of Defense for the Tiger combat helicopter. In parallel, we are designing a 120 mm mortar fired from our rifle mortar. So we say that we can take the technology of those equipment, so the technology from our laser guided rocket, the size of our mortar, and we create, finally, a guidance kit you have here, which is uh, integrated in uh, uh, the BAT-180, keeping the same uh, center of gravity and CDG as the formal one. Okay? So we have a guidance kit, and we have all the fins which can be unfolded, like this, like the one you can see on the Mirage 2000. The control actuator system is closed, okay? And this product is the one we fire in the 80s, in terms of weight, center of gravity. So when we drop the bomb, the certification can be reused from the former certification. But this product, when uh, it left the plane at five, 10 meters from the plane, the wing open, and you can uh, defeat the target with the submetric capabilities up to uh, six and more kilometers. So we try to use those technology, and we show that to the Ministry of Defense, explain to them that we can capitalize on the former uh, advanced study and program they finance. And we say, OK, do you want to test this solution? And they agree to test it. And we have already made several tries on the Mirage 2000. You see it on the defense uh, stand. This product, the BAT 120, <coughs> is here to answer to an uh, operational uh, uh, need, uh, which is the fact that today we are able to uh, send a plane in operation with a limited number of uh, rounds under the wing, like uh, two or four rounds, usually from 250 kilo to uh, 1,000 kilo. And you make only one strike with one bomb. During the last conflict, to avoid the collateral damage, what they are doing, they reduce the quantity of high explosive inside the bomb and replace that by inert uh, product. 
the reality is that we take off with 200 kilos of something, we drop 10 kilos of explosive on the target. The concept we have with this product is to be able to take off with a large number of ammunition, ensure the correct level of destruction on the ground, avoiding any collateral damage, but a lot of strike. You can refuel a fighter in, in, uh, in flight, but you cannot reload in ammunition. So the best way is to, end, to, have, to shape the ammunition at the size you need for the correct target. So today our Thales target is Mirage 2000, Rafale, but we think that this product can fill the need for UAV, because when you will send your UAV, they will stay on flight during 12 hours, and the idea is to be able to strike during 12 hours. Because if you have no more around, you need to land, and you are not able to ensure your mission. So this product is filling the gap between the cannon and the big bombs. Just at the moment, I can speak about the flare developed specifically for the A400 Mike, the uh, new French aircraft, which is just here, uh, above on the picture. We have developed a NATO standard cartridge, which is two inches by one inches by eight inches. This is a NATO standard, and Lacroix always sticks to the NATO's requirements. This cartridge is able to cover MTV or spectral flare, but also can, give, can send some shafts. Shafts if for electromagnetic, flare is in, the, is in the infrared spectrum. This is specifically developed because uh, F-400 Mike is a specific aircraft with big engines and a huge temperature. So we have been working very closely with the uh, end users to develop, qualify, and now it's qualified, this cartridge to have the good sequences to protect this aircraft against the man pads uh, developed all over the world. Um, what I can say else is that we are going to uh, fly it during ENBO exercise, which is a NATO uh, evaluation process in which many countries are flying the aircraft with some flares solution against some man pads. And then at the end we compare. And this, is the, this will be the first time that this specific cartridge will be fly, flown during this uh, campaign. And we are uh, definitely confident in the high quality because it's the only one in the high quality of this flare.